hello 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 everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome if you are not new i really appreciate you guys for coming back to support me thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart if you are new please consider hitting that like subscribe and that notification bell and also leave me a comment in this video we will be doing budget with me for august if that is something that you're interested in stay tuned all right family let's get into it we're not going to waste any time here um so like i said we are budgeting for august the second paycheck and as you can see i am not prepared at all all right so oh and um this book can be found on my Etsy store, Budget by Paycheck, The Diamond Plan. I hope the lighting isn't too bad. I had one to go out, so I am kind of working on one until I can go to the store and purchase another um, light. So, um, yeah, let's see how this will work. It looks okay for right now, but I hope it don't look too bad as you all are watching um, the video. And oh, look at my nails. They're cute, aren't they? I'm just looking at them. Oh, they're so beautiful. Shouts out to my nail tech, Bonita. Can y'all see that? Enough of that. All right, so let's get to this. So this for August paycheck will be zero eight twenty six twenty two, and I am only going to do um let's just do two hundred and ninety one dollars. I am going to go through and write down my categories and then I will be back. Now that I got everything written down, let me go through and explain this. And just in case you're new um, to my channel or new to the budgeting community. So these are the categories that I pay and take care of each month. The bills is everything that I have to have to pay every month. Now these kind of um, don't change. These are kind of set at a certain price. Um, the only thing that probably will change is probably my utilities, but everything else, I pretty much know how much I have to pay here. Now, my variable expenses is like my everyday spending. So, you have my groceries, gas, and I just take out little money for spending my households and everything. This section here is what I carry around with me every day um, in, my, in my budget binder. I have this with me. At all times sinking funds sinking funds is what you are saving up when you know something is coming up just say like vacation I don't have anything planned right now but I know sooner or later I'm going to want to take a vacation um, clothing I am also saving for that too so that can be anything that you um, are wanting to save for like if you if you're like me I have a bag fetish 
I like to buy purses. And I would have down here, if I, I wanted to buy a new purse, I would just put, you know, bag or, you know, Louis or whatever, whatever kind of bag you want. You will save up for that. And then down here is extra savings. It's, this is just the extra that I um, put back just for mainly mainly um it's for my daughter she is probably the only one my daughter and date night is the only one that i really am stuffing like all the time make sure i put money in there um but yeah that's just something extra maybe you want to save up for to pay off um extra debt whatever you want to do you can put it here so Right now, I am only taking out $291. I am not going to pull out my um, my money for my rent on this paychecks because we are just going to pay that once we once I get paid. So I'm not even going to um, worry about putting that down because I know I won't be cash stuffing that when it's time. So what I am going to do. I'm not going to stuff all of these categories, but I just wanted to write down and I do it for myself to see what all for all of my categories to see what all I'm, I am paying, what I'm not paying. So I could have just wrote down what I will be paying in bills and what I'll be stuffing, but I didn't want to do it like that. Um, so the only thing in my bills I will be paying out of this check is my utilities. Everything is um, paid for the month. So I am going to just write zero here and here I will put 50 and I will start over um, next month. As far as my bills for next month, I'll start over on my next paycheck. I had a lot of things come, come up, um, back to school, my niece back to college and you know, just a lot of miscellaneous thing come that came up. It always seemed like August is a, a hard month for me for some reason. It seemed like money is always tight. And it's been like that for a long time. If I'm saving money or not, it just seemed like August is always my hardest month. Um, But we are going to take... Let me grab my calculator real quick. Okay. Ooh, that's a little blinding. Ooh, I don't know how to get this glare off. I hope I hope that glare isn't blinding you all too bad. But we're not gonna be here long. So we're gonna take 291 from what we're starting with, and we're gonna subtract it from the 50 that we're paying for our bills. And we are at a total of 241. So going into our variable expenses, we have $241. For groceries, I am going to do 100. For gas, I am going to stuff do 75 for spending I'm gonna do 10 for household let's do 10 for medication oh let's do five we're not going to do anything for eating out or lunch money I'm gonna add that up That gives me a total of $200. We're going to take that $241 that we started with our bills, subtract that $200, and that will leave us with a total of $41. All right. So let's go to our sinking funds with $41. So everything here isn't going to get stuff. So I'm not going to do nothing for YouTube, fam. Nothing for emergency funds, because I do do my 
I do my um, savings challenge, my monthly savings challenge for my emergency funds. That snowball isn't getting anything. Family fun, let's do three. Self-care, I am going to do five here and five in beauty. For clothing, I am going to do two. For vacation, let's do two here. For savings, I think I'm going to throw five in there. Car maintenance, let's do four. And taxes, let's do five. And hope we didn't go over. All right, so. Three plus five. Plus five plus two, two, five, four, five. Oh, thirty-one dollars. So we have a total of thirty-one dollars. And we know that 41 minus 31 equals 10. So that leaves us with $10 going into extra savings. And that extra in that $10, I'm just gonna put that in Kanaya's. So 10, so we do 10 minus 10 is zero. So now that we have everything written out, the next step that we will do, we will go to our cash stuffing um, tracker. And then what I do here, I just go in and write down everything from here to here. It's basically transferring what I will be paying. So this is still for the payday, 826. 22 and I'll be back. All right, now that I have my categories written and my amounts that I will be stuffing I will now go through and write how I want my bills broke down and then I will take um, that to the bank so for my utilities I am just going to do um, a 50 for my groceries let's do 320s two tens and four fives for gas i am going to do 50 20 and one five for spending i am going to do 110 household let's do a 10 medication let's do five family fund we'll get three Self-care will get a five. Beauty, five. Clothing, two. Vacation, two. Savings, five. Car maintenance is four. Oh, sorry about that. Texas is five and Kanaya is 10. So let's tally that up. We have one, two on fifties. And then three, four, four, twenties, two, three, four, five, four tens, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. Three, four, five, six, nine, seven and seven and four is eleven 
So this equals a total of 291. And just to check the math, we have 180, 50, 50, and 11. One hundred plus eighty plus fifty plus fifty plus eleven is a total of two hundred and ninety one dollars. And as you guys know, I will get my my mini cash stuffing tracker and I will transfer everything here to that. That way when I am doing the actual cash stuffing, I don't have to have this book on my desk. So that will save me a lot of room. So let me grab that really quick. And I am just going to pull the one from here. I will be using this one. Oh, and guys, look, I did have... Um, one, two, three, four, no spin days. Yay. And I will fast forward this and I will be right back. Alright guys, so that is it. We have everything transferred and in the next video, you will see the actual cash stuffing. So I would love to see you guys there. Y'all be blessed. Bye.